In this video, we're going to go over how to set up an auto response email address and why we might want to use such a thing. Okay, so we're going to use the cPanel here, but whatever type of hosting you use, somewhere you're going to have a place where you can go in and set up your mail. So go into there, go into auto responders, and then just click add an auto responder. And what you're going to do here is you're going to put in the beginning of the email address and then your domain name is at the end here. So let's put something in here and it can be anything you want to use. Okay, so we have home business training. Then who it's from here. That way when it replies back, it'll have this in the from, it'll, whatever's in here. In the subject, it'll have whatever you have in here. And then the message will be down here. So just fill all that out. Okay, so we have learn to set up a home business for free. Here you have your character set. And I would use the universal character set, which is UTF-8. And then you just put the body or message in here. Now, since this is a one-off type of email that's going to go out, in here I would put a link to something else, depending on what you're doing. And this gets into our talk about why we might want to use one of these type of email addresses. Now, there are several things you could do. For instance, if you have an ad on Craigslist that you're peddling something, you can have the Craigslist email address that they supply go to this email address and then the message will be automatically forwarded to them and you're pretty much hands off with that. You do the same thing with any of these other networks like Kijiji or whatever it is you want to use. You could also use this as just a primer to get people into your autoresponder. So that's why you might want to use one of these. So now we just put the body of our text in here. Okay, so I put my message in there. And I notice there's this little box here that says HTML message. If you click the HTML message, then this is going to be HTML in here. And if you're going to put a link in it, you're going to need to format it in proper HTML format. Of course, if you leave that unchecked, this is going to go out as a text message. And then email clients will convert this to a clickable link for you. Okay, so all you do is create or modify. Okay, now here is our autoresponder email address. So if we were to email to there, we will get an instant message back. Let's give it a whirl here. Okay, so there were two that email address. We'll just click send here. Okay, and then here it is here. There's a subject line we got. And then here's the email we sent, and then there's the link we click. So that's how you can set up your own autoresponder email address in your control panel or whatever email system you have, and how you can use it to feed some other site or to feed your autoresponder. <laughs>